Well, one of the newest things that's come about in regard to tummy tucks and breast surgery is pain relief. And there's a new medicine called Expiril. It's a long-acting pain medicine, the same medicine the dentist gives you, but it's wrapped up in some little blobs of fat, and so it's a slow release. So when we do tummy tucks, we can inject that medicine while patients are asleep, and it slowly releases the local anesthetic, and so they require less pain medicine after surgery. It's made for great recoveries. Patients are out of bed twice as fast. The amount of patient, the amount of medicine that patients take after surgery is only a fourth of what it was before. So patients have gone from 80 pills to 20 pills, and they've gone from 12 days to six days on their recovery, which is, you know, tummy tucks are the hardest operation we do for recovery. It's the biggest one we do. And having a medicine like that works very well for that operation. Now we've just started a study for breast augmentation and for breast reductions and for breast lifts. Now, they don't hurt as much as tummy tucks, but they still hurt. So when patients recover, they have some muscle spasm, they have some pain, and they have to take pain pills. And those pain pills cause problems. You know, patients get constipation, patients get nausea, they get bad dreams, an assortment of things. So, so having a local anesthetic for a breast augmentation, I think is gonna be a wonderful advantage. So patients can have a breast implant operation and have three days of very little pain, not require very many pain medicines, and so the recoveries will be substantially easier.